I told him about the evidence that was collected, the evidence that wasn't collected, and asked him what he thought about everything. And he was able to confirm some of our suspicions. So it, it, it appears that they have never done the car, they have never done the crime scene, they've never done a canvas. Right. So there's a problem here because it doesn't sound like the police went back to the scene to really look for the bullet evidence. Mm -hmm. You really don't have the ballistic evidence because there's no shell casings found. What you have only is testimony from people to say, I heard so many shots, correct? Right. And you never know how many bullets you fired until you, it's over and you can check your weapon. Okay. The detectives got the call to go to the hospital. At the hospital, they had the victim who's deceased. They probably had the witnesses there. They acquired a name and they pursued the offender and the crime scene was not done. And definitely no canvas done. That's, that's big. And that's typically done, the canvas. It should be done, but it's, it's evidently it's not done because there should be a report that says, uh, I went to 2842, the three flat apartment. I rang each and every bell and I talked to people on the first floor, second floor wasn't home. And I talked to people on the third floor. Well, that means you got to go back and talk to the second floor because nobody was home. Somebody's got to go back again. You need as many witnesses as you can get. You got to, you have to make the effort. It's essential that that be done. The other thing that didn't end up in evidence were the clothing that Theopolis Teague was wearing. The coroner in his autopsy report said that the body was received with a red t-shirt and some boxer shorts, but this was February in Chicago, and certainly Theopolis Teague would have been wearing more clothing than that when he was murdered. If, if they didn't do a gunshot residue test, you can ask for a gunshot residue test on Marcus's clothing. If they're still they sh around. Well, I would, if they didn't take it from, yeah. Where those clothing are, we don't know. No bullet, no clothes. I mean, they should have been called to the hospital to recover that. And also they should have been sent to the crime scene. You know, so it's, it doesn't fit really, it doesn't fit. Mr. Dorsch was able to, to confirm that something went wrong with the police work and that there were a lot of flaws. All right, that's it.